here is another example for fluctuations in equilibrium and this time we can detect the fluctuations using a sensitive method so this has to do with a torsion pendulum we have a lamp that uh, sends a light beam uh, to the mirror which is attached to a torsion fiber uh, and we see that the reflected light is uh, falling on a screen and we can detect the uh, fluctuations in the angular position of the mirror uh, by looking at our screen. <clears throat> uh, when this mirror turns by a small angle, uh, there's going to be a twisting in the torsion fiber it's attached to. And uh, you will remember this uh, torsion pendulum. Uh, so we will feel a restoring torque which is minus kappa times the angular displacement uh, we go through and kappa is called the torsion constant. This is completely analogous to a spring mass system where the restoring force is minus kx where k is the spring constant. Okay, so uh, let me note here that uh, first of all we have this observation uh, when the mirror that is attached to this uh, torsion fiber uh, turns a small angle uh, delta theta let's say the twisted fiber that this mirror is attached to feels a restoring torque and from our study of simple harmonic motion in uh, basic physics classes we know that this torque is minus kappa times the angular displacement delta theta where kappa is called the torsion constant and as I said this is analogous to restoring force spring force is minus k times the displacement from equilibrium delta x um, so if we have fluctuations in the angle we can detect this uh, small angular fluctuations can be detected this is by looking at the screen we can see that the, the point where the beam is falling on the screen is changing okay so why would we have uh, small angular fluctuations um, mirror air molecule random collisions that is one reason why this is going to happen and there will be also oscillations in energy that is between the internal energy of the atoms and mirror rotational energy internal energy of the atoms and molecules and the mirror rotational energy and what is rotational energy you will remember rotational energy is given by 1 over 2 moment of inertia angular speed squared right so that's this term kinetic energy 1 half mv squared rotational kinetic energy one half i omega squared and we also have uh, other components that make up the internal energy of the atoms we have uh, vibrations of the atoms uh, that's basically uh, giving us the largest contribution in the case of uh, solids uh, 
so basically here we have a quite sensitive technique to detect very small angular fluctuations and once again there are uh, two reasons why you would have uh, angular fluctuations this would be the dominant one the mirror air molecule collusions the second reason you can think of is oscillations in energy um, at equilibrium the energy is distributed in the most random or uniform possible uh, configuration however uh, there will be fluctuations in the distribution of energy as well so this will cause uh, so if, if I put this system inside vacuum if there is no air molecule I would still see uh, small fluctuations uh, smaller fluctuations in the uh, mirror position that's due to a redistribution of energy um, that happens uh, randomly while the system is at equilibrium.